Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of a series of videos I'm posting to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests. This one in particular is part 3 of my series on graphs. The reason why I made this is because a lot of you requested that I make videos on graphs because it's October 2016 exam. And yes, it's talaga siya. But uh, I put off making this video because I wanted to focus on other topics. But since a lot of you requested that I make this, and sana may habol ko sa mga mag-exam really soon sa November for those of you na na-postpone yung exam and for those of you who are part of Team Like Hong Kong I'm going to make this video for you so today we're going to talk about circle graphs or pie graphs that's a little bit trickier so if you haven't seen the first two videos yung line graph and bar graph you can click right here and pop up yung card if you're watching this on YouTube watch that first before you watch this video because that will build up your confidence when answering graph questions okay so if you've seen those and you want to dive right into it, we're going to switch over to my PC and let me just give you a quick explanation. When it comes to circle graphs, what you have to remember is that the entire bilog, isang bilog na yan, yung circle na yan, it means 100%. So if there are elements there na nakikita ninyo kulang or hindi nakalagay kung ilang percent, the best way for you to know kung ilang percent siya is for you to remember na yung isang bilog, isang bilog na yun, 100% siya. So, kung may kulang doon, for you to find out kung ano yung nawawala, just add the rest na nakalagay and subtract that from 100. Again, I'm going to demonstrate that to you on my PC, so I'm going to switch right over. Okay, so we're going to talk about graphs. Ito yung part 3 natin, so pie chart ang pinag-uusapan. Sa pie chart, ang kailangan niya tandaan is that yung isang bilog means 100. Okay, so 100% percentage ang pinag-uusapan. So, kailangan you have a good grasp of both an, uh, analysis and percentage problems when you enter into uh, pie charts. Kasi, pag hindi kayo comfortable with your percentages, you would, may, you would find some of the questions challenging. Okay? So, ito yung sample natin. Uh, dito yung, ito yung um, chart natin sa right side. Sabi, time spent on homework. Now, if you notice here, okay, merong mga percentage na uh, equivalent, bawat slice ng pie. So, again, yung buong pie, that is 100. Meron ka dito, 15, 10, 29, 12, 21. Pero yung English, if you notice, wala siyang percentage. Ganon usually yung type na question na lumalabas sa mga exams. Kasi, if you don't know the concept na 100% yung buo, you wouldn't know kung ilan yung English. Okay? So, um, to find out kung ilan yung percentage ng English, you have to look at all of these. Okay? Kasi pa, ang hinahanap dito sa question, sabi, combined which two topics required the greatest amount of time? So, ibig sabihin, hinahanapin mo yung dalawang topics na pinakamataas yung amount ng time. So, dahil hindi natin alam pa siya uh, at gusto natin manigurado, titignan naman natin kung ilang percent yung English. So, ito meron ka ng 25. Ito, magiging, 25, magiging 50. So, 21 plus 29. So, meron ka 7. 12 dito. So, again, 25. I'm using uh, chunking, actually. Okay? So, 15 and 10, 25 siya. 21 and 29 is basically 50. So, meron ka ng 75 plus 12. So, meron ka ng 87. So, that would mean, ang English would be 13%. Kasi, yun yung kailangan para mabuo yung 100. So, 100 minus 25 minus 50 minus 12 should be 13%. 100%. Okay? So, um, para mal, dahil 13% siya, titinan na natin ngayon kung ano yung dalawang topics daw na with the greatest amount of time. So, obviously, yung math, siya yung pinakamalaki yung size, yung chunk dito sa pi natin. So, you have math. And, ang pangalawa niya is yung history kasi 29 and 21%. And dahil kinuha na rin naman natin siya to find out kung ano yung English, 29 plus 21, okay, is equal to 50%. So, yun yung two topics required to uh, required to make up the greatest amount of time. So, ang answer would be history and math. Okay. Pag pinagsama mo siya, it's greater than any other two topics combined. Okay? So, uh, was the English and Spanish work or writing and math work longer or were they equally time consuming? So, again, sabi natin ang English is 13%. So, sabi, ang English daw ba at Spanish uh, pareho lang sa writing and math? So, 
So, tignan natin. English. English is 13. Tapos, Spanish is 10. Tapos, you have writing, which is 12. And you have math, which is 29. So, this would be 23 lang. This would be a little more than 40. So, this is actually 41. So, the answer would be writing and math. Ato. This is longer. Okay? So, usually, yung mga ganitong klaseng tanong, ang options yan are in word form. So, ang sasagutin natin dito is, English and Spanish are longer. Take longer. Okay? Next question. Between English and Spanish, which topic took longer or did they require equal time? So, again, sabi natin kanina 13% ang English. So, the answer would be, Spanish takes greater than English. Okay? At the next question, what percentage of time did Miles spend on the art and history homework? So, ang inahanap, dapat art and history. So, meron ka ng art na 15%, meron kang history na 21%. So, ang inahanap percentage time daw na spinan niya pag kireksama, so the answer to this would be 36%. Miles spent 36% of her time uh, doing art and history homework. Ito. If Miles spent 200 minutes on homework, how many minutes were spent on math? So, dahil meron kang 200 minutes, inahanap mo yung, at ito yung total, okay, na hinubos sa homework, at 29% yung ginamit niya sa math, okay? Ang kailangan mong gawin is to multiply it. So, 200 times to part 29, that will be the answer. So, you can do this a number of, uh, Meron ka ilang techniques that you can do. You can multiply it outright na 200 times 0 0.29. So, mamove mo siya. 1, 2, decim 2 decimal places para mamove mo nito 1, 2. So, the answer would be 29 times 2 or 58. So, 58 minutes ang ginamit niya sa pagsasolve ng math. Another thing you could do would be 200 times... 0.30, so basically dahil ang point ang point 10 or 10 percent ng 200 is just 20, meron kang tatlong uh, tatlong tatlong 20 tatlong 20, which is 60 okay, kasi ito yung 30 percent okay, kaya lang 29 eh, so kulang ng 1 percent eh, ang 1 percent is dadagdagan mo lang ng isang, i-move mo lang uli yung decimal place ng isa pa so 60 minus 2 will still be 58. So, if you want to go the mental route, you can do this. This is something I also teach in live events, yung percentages. Hanapin nyo yung pinaka malapit na whole number. So, dahil 29 malapit sa 30, 30 muna. And then, ibabawas mo na lang yung kulang, which is 0.1. So, 58 minutes. Either way, kahit saan kayo dumaan, ang importante, pareho naman yung sagot. Okay, so, I hope you learned something new today. If you found this video helpful, click thumbs up so I'd know uh, na nakakatulong siya sa inyo. And if you haven't seen the other videos I already posted, you can click right here to catch up. Click right here to subscribe to this channel because the, there's going to be a lot more videos coming up really soon. I want you to be able to watch that. If so, if you want to watch that or my requests or anything like that, please subscribe to this channel. Again, if you're not yet part of Team Laika, you can go to www.facebook.com slash Team Rin for you to uh, reach out to me, make requests, or just basically interact with your teammates na nandun din. So I hope to see you really soon. God bless, and aja-aja kaya nyo yan. Happy learning. Bye-bye.